Hello, hello, hello. Uh, just real quick, welcome to my class. If there's ever a big lead in time where you're just watching a video and there's not me talking, uh, just give it a second. Sometimes record doesn't work right away and I always wait till the computer says, go ahead and talk, but sometimes it happens before. Long story short, hello and welcome to paleontology. You're probably asking yourself, why am I in paleontology? Well, that's a fantastic question. The answer is this. This class was supposed to be anatomy and physiology. The new curriculum that we're using for online and in-person instruction did not have that class. And so we have turned it into paleontology first semester and second semester is marine biology. So both are fantastic classes. I'm excited to teach both of them and I think you'll have a lot of fun. Paleontology is the study of basically prehistoric life. And a lot of times somebody will finish that sentence of paleontology is the study of dinosaurs, but realistically, it's all living things from the past. And so we're going to take a snapshot of what the world used to look like in the past, how the evolution of living things has occurred since then to now, and how we have gone from one living organism that was just one cell to what we have today. So we're going to talk about dinosaurs. We're going to talk about pre-dinosaurs, what living things look like. We're going to talk about the um, Cambrian explosion, which happened about 525 million years ago. We're going to talk about the giant insect era, which we had dragonflies the size of human beings. Um, we're going to talk about post dinosaurs and the rise of mammals. We're going to talk about human evolution. We're going to talk a lot about a lot of different subjects that all kind of talk about prehistoric living things. So that's what paleontology is. I'm excited for you guys to learn about it. I'm excited to teach it. I've actually never taught this class. So that kind of goes into the welcome who I am. I'm Mr. Rogers. This is my 11th year teaching. I usually teach biology or chemistry. I've also been a principal in the past. This is the first time I've ever taught paleontology. And so I'm excited for a new challenge. Uh, most of the classes I teach nowadays, I've been teaching for 10, eight, five years at least. This is a brand new challenge for me. So if there's times where it seems like I don't know where I'm going, that might not be far off. I might not be knowing where I'm going, but I'm working really hard to make sure you guys have the best education possible. Now, you will also notice today, besides welcome, I'm gonna go back to myself. We're gonna talk a little bit about what I know about the class is gonna look like so far. We're gonna do a little bit of an icebreaker and we're gonna do a virtual assignment. So a little bit more about me. I have a wife that works at Cherry Street. I have a daughter who's four months old. They're the most important things to me. Um, in school every day. I'm being very protective of myself with this COVID thing going around. Uh, you guys are obviously home. You guys have made that choice and I, I commend that choice. Um, just make sure that you guys stay up on your work. Uh, online classes, they can sometimes be pushed to the side when you're at home. I've been there before as a college student and as a adult student that can lead to a lot of problems. Uh, maybe one day I'll tell you about some of those problems that I had online uh, as a student, but right now, please make sure you guys keep up, okay? And of course, at any point, if you need help, get help from me um, if you're struggling. So let's pull up the one pager. So the one page is a quick look at what this class is about. And that one is not the right one, so let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Oh, looky there, I can't find it. Um, so, <laughs> fantastic. So this is my intro to bio one. It's not a big deal. We can use this as our um, one for now. It's not the end of the world. But your Otis here, there's four sites that we're gonna use, the four sites that have become very important for this class. Otis is one of them. We'll talk about what Otis is in a couple minutes when we get to the virtual assignment. Otis is really a way for us to, it's like an advanced power school. GenNet or Canvas is some, another term you're gonna hear a lot. I like to call it Canvas. Some teachers will call it GenNet. That is a way for you to actually see the class, do the class, learn, turn things in. Canvas is gonna be the spot where most of the work is gonna be done this year. You will also notice that Remind here, these are not the right Remind codes. These are not the right Google Classroom codes for you guys at this moment, but these are important for you guys to join. I'll show you what the right ones are in a second, okay? Um, things that I wanna make sure are clear down here, it's the same thing that's on yours. Differences between in-person and online classes, there's gonna be big differences. 
I'm going to try to alleviate that by trying to connect as much as possible what's going on online and what's going on in virtual, or sorry, online and in person. Now, I will let you know when some days are very similar. On those days, or even any day, you're welcome to join my class virtually. Um, there will be a link uh, in this email. There's been a link already sent out every single day. That link is active. You can join at 2 o'clock or 2.05, whenever this class starts, I think it's 2.05 and you are more welcome to sit and listen to the class. The only person that can see you is me. You will be muted, so you can't talk or be, you know, say hello to your friends or anything, but you could hear everything I say. I will have a microphone on me the whole hour. You'll be able to hear what is going on, and you'll be able to hear what I am going through, and I'll try to make sure that you can hear what's going on in the class as well. So, online, I'm gonna to try to make it the best experience as I can possibly make it. Obviously, there'll be times where it might be a little boring, but that's just how it's gotta be in this situation, okay? Um, besides that, the one page that you have on your email is a better read, so I want you guys to read through it, make sure you guys understand it. You'll have to actually use the one sheet during your, um, your icebreaker, and so please make sure you guys get that and get it out, okay? Now next is your icebreaker. Um, what your icebreaker is, is going to be, let me pull that up, give me like two seconds here. Sorry, you know, I think yeah, I would be prepared for this, but you know, sometimes you don't have the right things open. So the icebreaker looks like this. So who knew? You're gonna have this PowerPoint to go through. This is the same one that the kids in class are going through. You're gonna get a chart, it's online. It's also there in a link. The chart um, is pretty straightforward. It looks like this. So there's spots for the question answers, what you got. You guys don't have to worry about other people. Other people in class will have to worry about that. So I guess that's a fortunate break of being online for now. So I'm just gonna ask you some questions. This is a quick way for me to understand where you're at with paleontology as a topic, where you're at as a person. I always enjoy finding out about you guys and what you know, what you don't know. And so it basically asks you a bunch of questions. I'll be honest with you, some of these things you'll look at and you'll be like, that's something new paleontology, like um, this guy, a skeleton, because this used to be my anatomy one. And obviously I'm not teaching anatomy, so. Uh, there's still some skeletons in there. So answer the questions to the best of your ability, as well as you possibly can. And that is your icebreaker. And you need to turn in that chart by the end of, uh, well, tomorrow, I should say, at the end of anything, tomorrow. It needs to be in before class starts tomorrow. Um, the other thing I need you guys to work on today is your virtual assignment. Your virtual assignment is a, uh, Real quick here, let me grab it right here. It is your quick and easy way to understand what you actually need to be using. It's more of virtual exploration. It's kind of like a old fashioned web quest. I want you guys to bounce around the sites that we're going to use. Each one of these sites has a task that you need to get accomplished. Now, for almost all of them, I can see if you accomplish that task by looking through the log file. So that's how you're going to be graded. So if you only do the first three and you don't do the last three, well, then you don't get full credit. So this is probably the easiest points you're gonna get the whole entire year. So you're gonna start at power school. The email one, make sure you read the email task well because it is a little tricky. I don't want you to lose points. Otis is the one I really wanna show you because Otis, if you remember how to use Otis, you can get anywhere. So if I go to otis.com, Go, go to a site that looks like this. If I go to log in up top, it will log me in. You guys probably will go to a login screen. You're gonna have to click the Google button. Now the Google button's underneath the login. It's gonna log in with your school email. So make sure it's logged in with your school email. Then you'll see you'll have classes. So you guys will see there's classes here. I have a bunch of classes. You guys might not have nearly as much and that's completely fine. I, I envy you for not having as much as me. And so you have to click one of these. 
that corresponds with my class. So for you guys, it's paleontology. You'll notice here that we have uh, a class board. Um, that's where almost all the stuff will be posted and saved. You'll see for me, I can take attendance. I can give you guys lessons, grade books. I can, I, we can do a bunch of things. This is also a spot where you will be able to see your grades in the future too. But right now, all I care about is class board. So find your class paleontology online and class board. You'll see here, there's a bunch of links. And so we're gonna use those links here. Next part, you go to Canvas, you'll see the link for Canvas here. You click into that guy. You'll see it says you need to join Google Classroom. You do that here. And you need to sign up for a Remind here or the Remind code is also right down here. So that's the virtual assignment. Pretty straightforward. I just want you guys to see everything and know what all the websites are. Last but not least, before I let you go, there's two more things I gotta talk about. One, online classes can seem overwhelming sometimes because you're all alone and you're gonna feel alone at times. Please get a hold of me if you're ever confused. I will tell you right now, it will never be an excuse to say, I didn't know that this needs to be done or where I needed to go because one, I laid out where you needed to go in this video. And two, I'm gonna contact you a lot. And you're gonna probably find me annoying, but that's the only way I can for sure say that I'm doing my job because I can't see your face. I can't see if you're recognizing what I need you to do or anything like that. So I have to email you a lot. So please email me if you're ever confused because that allows me to give you direct help. Also, finally, obviously, weird time in the world. Please, 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 please make sure if you ever need anything outside of the class, you get a hold of me as well and I'll try to make that happen. Uh, make sure that the school is doing a good job reaching everything that you guys need as a student. Okay, so I hope that this kind of explained what you need on day one. If you're confused, read the email. If you're confused again, please, 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 please get a hold of me and I will help as much as I can and we'll move forward. I will email you guys on day two exactly what you guys need to do, but most of it will probably hopefully be on Canvas. If not, you'll get explanation then. So thank you guys for listening. Have a great day.